Hello all my fellow spark players, this is Wonderland Tea and Diamonds and we have another Diamond Art Club unboxing and today's theme is snowy scenes so it is not quite winter yet. I'm um, looking forward to it, I know it's just mid-September but we're all kind of looking ahead to Christmas and getting presents done and uh, thinking about our decor and stuff already um, even though we still have Halloween to go but I thought I'd show these snowy scenes. We have a discontinued painting we have a holiday one and we have uh, a new release, so kind of a variety going on today. So let's get started. Okay, this is a Mandy Manzano painting. It is 51 by 76 inches and, um, whoops, that was the kit, which I will show you because this one is actually a square. I have two squares today. Uh, Alright, so in the square kit, you get the tweezers, if you're not familiar with it yet. You get these really pointy tweezers, and they're um, really sturdy. Try to keep track of that, um, <laughs> because they can stab you if you drop them and reach down to pick them up. So, and the rest is similar. You get the clear tray, you get wax, you get a pen grip, and the blue pen. But no, oh, it does say multi-placer. Let me see if it's in here. Just because I know they were out for a little while. No, there's no multi-placer in this one. They were out. That's okay. I have other multi-placers. But it does say on the bag what you should get most of the time. I'm not worried about that. Okay. So, this is another poster size one. This is kind of the size they seem to be going a lot, which I do like them, but I kind of wish I could also do some more like 30 by 40s and 40 by 50s. Alright, so this one is big, and it's of this lovely couple who lives in Arendelle. Alright, here's the instructions if you haven't seen them before. I'll flatten it a bit. It's pretty, these canvases are self-flattening. Um, I'm gonna run the whole thing by, so just so you can see all of it. It is uh, Anna and Kristoff hanging out in uh, her signature dress, and he's got his, I don't know, winter, winter coat on. It's very distinctive, but I don't know, have any of you seen um, oh, The Last Unicorn? And Prince Lear wears um, a similar kind of jacket outfit with this kind of fur coming off the sleeves, and that's what this reminds me of. If you haven't seen The Last Unicorn, go and see it. It is a classic cartoon movie, and um, I don't know, for me it's a must-see because I grew up with it, and I love the soundtrack too. So this one is so cute. Um, they're hanging out. Obviously, you've got over here, you've got this ice castle. And then just kind of the background, the sky, some snowflakes, um, clouds, swirls. But I mean, obviously they're the feature. They take the vast majority of the canvas and there's some background. So, a super cute couple. Um, the drills are pretty hefty. It's called a Fixer Uppers. It has been called Found Love in a Frosty Place as well. So it's kind of, I'm not sure why they changed the name, but they did. Um, I think over here... See this greenery? I think that's supposed to be where the little trolls live. I could be wrong, but that's my idea. Okay, let's get into these drills. So as I talked about, um, 51 by 76 centimeters, that's centimeters in case I didn't mention that, um, two ABs, square, and it has 50 colors, so it's quite a lot. It, it is a colorful painting, but we have a lot of 310. Um, Manny Manzano paintings are going to always have 310 because of the stained glass lines. But then again, she's also wearing this black bodice and you know, she's got these gloves and there's a lot of shading. So there's kind of some extra 310 going on. So let's kick it off with um, 775, which is considered light baby blue. Very light baby blue, my bad. It's kind of a really light mint green to me. 
one blue or tint. Then we have three tin, the ubiquitous black color, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight whole bags of three tin, so it's quite a lot. Move into eight two three, which is dark navy. Nine four eight is very light peach. Nine three nine is very dark navy. It's two bags of that. Eight fourteen is dark garnet. Thirty seven sixty is medium wedge with blue. And here we have our first AB, and there's a lot of it, so that's very exciting. One three six, and uh, it doesn't have a DMC number. But this is kind of an indigo blue AB. You see how beautiful it is. Then we have 336, which is just blue, but it looks like a deep blue to me. I mean, that's almost navy. Um, 3811 is very light turquoise. And our second AB of the day is 141, and that's the white AB. I'm trying to get the iridescence in there. So there's a lot of ABs, which is good news, and we'll look at um, where those appear in the painting. On to our next train. They are long trains. Oh, we get two bags of 141. Ah, that's so exciting. So there's a lot of this one. That is good news. 951 is light tawny. 762 is very light pearl gray. 3755 is medium baby blue. And there's a question mark by that, so that's Contested? I don't know. It's kind of listed as a couple different baby blue versions. 312 is very dark baby blue. 600 is very dark cranberry. 799 is medium delft blue. 798 is dark delft blue. 438 is, oops, 98. I'm sorry, 498. There we go. It's just dark red. 38.44 is dark burnt turquoise. I'm sorry, dark bright turquoise. <laughs> Not burnt. I read my own writing. 7.97 is royal blue. 3.22 is baby blue, maybe dark baby blue? I'm question marked by that. The baby blue colors are really questionable in Jim's flow. I don't know what happened there. 6.01 is dark cranberry. 915 is dark red copper. Really? That's what I put. It looks like a plum color though. I'm gonna double check that one when I'm done. Okay. 3971 is wait. 3371. Why can't I read today? 3371 is black brown. That's very common. 3846 is light bright turquoise. 3853 is dark autumn gold. 603 is cranberry. 947 is burnt orange. And 758 is light terracotta. It's really kind of a peachy color. And then we have one more train. These bags are a bit smaller though. So not as much of these colors. Plenty of colors, just not as many of each one. 976 is medium golden brown. 743 is medium yellow. 602 is medium cranberry. 977, this one is light golden brown. 742 is light tangerine. There we go. Uh, 353 is peach. 352 is a light coral. 413 is dark pewter gray. 414 is dark steel gray. 3826, golden brown. 300 is very dark mahogany. 313 is, I'm sorry, 318 is light steel gray. 317 is pewter gray. 6.99 is green. That always looks a bit too dark to just be called green. Uh, that's what they call it. 7.01 is light green. 
3609 is ultra wait 3609 is ultra light plum yeah kind of a purpley pink color there 415 is pearl gray uh, the infamous triple six this one is called bright red <laughs> just a tiny bit of this number 400 is dark mahogany and 38 for uh, 3348 is light yellow green that makes sense for that one so I wanted to look up for the other one Okay, I've double checked. I must have mistyped it. 915 is actually dark plum, which makes a lot more sense. So, that's all the fun colors. Get these out of the way. So, uh, the blue AB is symbol number one, and the white one is symbol number two. And of course, we've got number two going on here in his sleeve. Uh, you get him sprinkled in the clouds or the background, whatever this is, kind of especially right behind their heads. Like they're glowing, glowing with love. Um, so that's a lot of number two. Number one, I'm trying to figure out where number one is. Ah, she's got AB teeth that are number two, and then I guess his eyelids are a bit frosty because they're there too. So they get highlights on their eyelids. Um, the blue ones are already always harder to find, and I don't know why. I mean, there was plenty of it. I have no doubt there's a lot of it. And I'm thinking some will be in a dress. Maybe his jacket. Oh, okay. Yeah, so here we have number one happening down here in the circles. And you get it in this swirl going on. It's all up in these swirls. You get a highlight here definitely in the bottom of this dress. I was thinking some might be in the clouds behind them, but I don't... Oh, there is, there's a little bit where it gets darker in the bluer sections here. There's a chunk, a chunk here. So lots of ABs. Uh, let me get further out to look at it. So a lot of ABs, a lot going on kind of behind their heads, uh, in the ice castle of course, highlighting their faces and some of their clothing. And then of course down here in the darker blue colors, we're getting those blue ABs in our dress, and a little bit in kind of the shadows of the background. Here is the original artwork, um, well a sticker of it anyway. So there's our big sticker, and here is our little sticker called Fix the Rubbers. They're so cute. It's just a really sweet painting. Um, I don't know, this would kind of be uh, a fun one f to give someone maybe if they enjoy this kind of thing. Like I have people in my life that enjoy Disney and if they do, I think this would be a sweet gift for someone getting married or um, you know a couple of lovebirds that you happen to know or yourself for your own house to celebrate your own love, whatever. Um, so yeah, I just think it's really a really sweet picture and there's a lot of detail. Look how detailed we get in his scarf. It's got that kind of jacquard pattern on it. And I love, I call them bubbles, I know that's not really what they are, but this bubble texture in her dress. Um, just a lot of fun. I don't know why I love bubbles, but I do. I just, they make it more fun. So um, that's Fixer Uppers and uh, it is now discontinued on their website. Um, you never know, sometimes they do bring discontinued pieces back momentarily, but if you see it back on their website, get it quick because if it's, it's been marked discontinued, it's been taken off their site before, if they bring it back, it doesn't usually stay very long. It doesn't become part of the regular stock again. So um, yeah, I was really happy to get this one because I love the colors in it too, and I love the ice castle in the background. So let's move on to our next snowy scene. So this is our next one. It's a bit smaller. It's 42 by 57 centimeters and uh, that's kind of about the size I like most of my diamond paintings to be, but I know it's hard to get the detail of a lot of these artists in the smaller ones. So this is by an artist called Dana Gelsinger and um, it has been a popular one for the holidays. It is square and it has two ABs. So let's take a look. Um, we get the square toolkit with the tweezers again. I don't see a multi-placer in here, so I think they're still out, which is fine. Ooh. 
everything comes out at once. Get the two stickers. Okay. I just like this scene. I think it's it's wintry and Christmassy at the same time. And this one is called Starry Night. Let me turn it this way. Um, get it to lay flat. And what I like is just, you know, the scenery, you know, they're looking at this North Star, um, and the little town all lit up below. Just hanging out. Just hanging out with his reindeer buddy. So for me, it's, it's a, it's not like Christmas, you know, some of them are very Christmassy and this one is a bit more softer, like, it's a Christmas scene, but it's not in your face Christmas scene, so, um, yeah, do you see the little town with the church tower, and I can already see these are the ABs, um, no, we're gonna get yellow ABs for this one, for all these lights, and then there's a lot of, uh, white ABs in the snow. Um, so this is just a fun one and such, you know, it's a good size for displaying. This is a fun one to put out at the holidays. Just to make you thank you Christmas. Um, we're back to our new packaging with the silver line. So I'm going to take these out and we'll get a closer look at these drills. So finally we get one more 310. It's not the main color. I have nothing against 310. It's just funny how much is in some of the other paintings. It is in this one, and you can kind of tell it's going to be in his belt and his glove and his shoes, but you won't believe how small the bag is when I show it to you. So, our first short train is full of 141, that white AB, and that's all up in the snow and the branches and the stars and some on his coat, the fur lining on his coat. And then we have one, two, three of 820, which is very dark royal blue. So a lot of that's that background sky. Um, and this is a short little four, four caboose train. Four car train? The caboose is the back. So this is a short little four car train. But full of 141, which is the important part. Then we have 3325, which is a light baby blue. And there's two of that. 798, which is dark delft blue. There we go. Two of that. Oh, and 799, which is medium delft blue, and we have two of those. Continue on in that family, we have 797, which is royal blue, and two of those. Then we have 70, uh, 775, which is very light baby blue. 796, which is six, which is dark royal blue. 3756 is baby, also called baby blue, but it's really, really light. Okay, so let's compare. Um, 775 is, I can get it to sit next to each other, is very light baby blue. So it's that one. And 3756 is just called baby blue. I mean, that's crazy. This looks like a mix between white and mint green, almost. Um, I mean, it's a nice color. But it does not look like baby blue. 814 is dark garnet. 498 is dark red. In his suit, 3371 is black brown. 938 is ultra dark coffee brown. 433, which is medium brown. 434 is light brown. 939 is very dark navy blue. 823 is dark navy blue. You can see next to one another, you can just see that 823 has a bit more blue and 939 almost looks black. But if you held 939 up to 310, you, you would just see that hint of blue. 435 is very light brown, and that's the end of that train. Now we move on to the smaller bags, actually. So, we have 898, which is very dark coffee brown. 648 is light beaver green. 310, so this is our, this is all the 310 we have. Isn't that amazing? Have you ever seen such a small bag of 310 in Diamond Art Co. painting? That's black. 321 is red. 
647 is medium beaver gray. 890 is ultra dark pistachio green. Get them down there so you can see. Uh, 3818 is ultra dark emerald green. Sorry, ultra very dark emerald green. My bad. 3024 is very light brown gray. 436 tan, although it looks kind of orangey here. That's interesting. Triple six is bright red. 437 is a little light tan. Again, it's more on the orangey peachy side. 3755 is medium baby blue. 699 is green. This actually looks lighter than the other green. It's interesting. 640 is very dark beige gray. 891 is dark carnation. 700 is bright green. That's what I would consider crayon green, that one. 3770 is very light tawny. 738 is very light tan. 333, very dark blue violet. And just a smattering of these. 131. Oh, this is our yellow AB. Oh, okay. It's kind of an orangey yellow. Um, if you can see that. So that's going to be your lights in the windows and whatnot down in the town. Really cute. So yeah, I'll just show you a bit closer. Here's where we're going to have that number one orangey yellow. It's going to light up these windows all in the town. I'm trying to see if there happens to be any on the reindeer, but no. I thought maybe he had some jingle bells. But he doesn't. And then number two is all over the place. It's in the star. And this is that white AB, in case you forgot already. It's all in the snow hanging off the trees. It's in the snow on the ground, of course. Um, it's here in his suit. There you go, camera. You can focus. And just all over. So um, a lot of pretty ABs there. And you get like one or two in these bits of snow falling. You get a few uh, white ABs as well. So really pretty, really fun one for the holidays. And I love um, that he's hanging out with his reindeer friend. I don't know why he's just got one buddy with him. Or the other seven hanging back in the woods. Who knows? But it still makes for a really pretty holiday scene. So let's move on to our last snowy scene and a new release from Diamond Art Club. Sorry y'all, I forgot the stickers again. Um, I think the paintings are just so beautiful. I forget to show you the original. So here we have our two stickers. Original artwork. Some really nice um, highlighting from that star going on. This looks so pretty. Oh, the Christmas tree. I didn't even notice that. It's lit up in the town square. And there's the little one. So there you go. It's got 38 colors, which I think I forgot to mention. Um, really pretty. I'd love to check out more artwork by this artist. Um, really nice scene going on. But let's move on to our new release. So it is September 17th. Uh, Diamond Art Club just released this last weekend. I ordered it Saturday and it came on Wednesday. So it's four days. Pretty good. Um, I'm so excited to see they were offering this one. Um, someone put up that it would be available soon and indeed about two weeks later they put it up as the new release for that week Oops. all right getting all the stickers and everything out this was stuck down in there okay so here we have the round toolkit it's pretty much the same it just doesn't come with tweezers um and they're still out of oh no so this one came with the multi-placer you can see these are the new thin placers, or the new er, I should say. Not that new, but it came with a bunch of bags. It's at least 10 right there. So I use the little bags to cut up my drills um, when I'm done with the painting. I don't know what you guys do. Some people throw them away, but um, I mean, they're useful. I have a hard time throwing away useful things. So, Okay. Rip into this one. So excited to get it. Here we have First Snow by Hannah Lynn. And I'm gonna pull the camera out a bit more. Get the wolf a little bit more in the shot. This one's 
It's not that much bigger than the first one, but I feel like I'm having a hard time getting it all in. So this one is 51 by 71 centimeters. And fixed wrappers were 51 by 76, so it was a bit longer. Um, so it's just as wide. I think it's just that their faces are so big, it feels hard to get into the shot. It's not as color driven as a lot of Hannah Loon's are. But I just love the scenery. I love bulls. I love native culture. Um, so I, I like seeing this representation. Um, I think it's just really cute. Um, I didn't even notice when I saw it originally. He's wearing like an arrowhead necklace on this wolf dog. And she's got native clothing on. So here. These almost look like Christmas trees in the background. Do you see this? They're trees with berries on them, maybe? I don't know. And then we have the mountains here. Let me see if I can get it. Get a better view. So we've got a mountains and, and a lake in the background. Really pretty. I just love it. And you see all these little white dots of snow softly falling. Um, let me go ahead and show you the stickers first this time. So you see the original artwork. There we have it. Turn it sideways, get the whole thing in. And the little one. And pretty decent amount of ABs. Very much earth tones going on. Um, an ecru here. That's just standard uh, cross stitch color from DMC. He just means like off white. Um, so sometimes they don't give it a number. Like I know. 3865 I think is winter white but it cruise a bit deeper than that so it is slightly different and they just never gave it a number they just called it a crew and I don't know why but so be it let's get into these drills okay as you can imagine there's a fair bit of 310 with this but that's not the color that starts off this train um, even though that's the most numerous color of course we're starting off with a crew and then we go to 3033, which is very light mocha brown. 754, which is light peach. Then we have one, two, three, three, four, five, six bags of 310. So not as many as fixed wrappers, but a lot. I mean, there's just a lot with the outlining and some on the wolf's nose and a bit in the arrowhead. There's not big blocks of 310, um, but there's a fair amount for the outlining. Then we move on to 640, which is very light beige gray. 3371, which is black brown. So we have one, two, three of those. 37.99, which is very dark Peter Gray, and that's the end of this big train, which is mostly um, the blacks and black browns and gray. Not surprising at all. Um, 30.23 is very, uh, oh, yeah, light brown gray, okay, light brown gray. 6.47, this one is medium beaver gray, so a lot of gray, not surprising. 6.44 is medium beige gray. 6.45 is medium, oh, I'm sorry, very dark beaver gray. And here we have the AB, the ubiquitous AB 141. That's our white AB. It's going to be in the snow, in her eyes, um, maybe a bit in his ears. Sure, almost certainly on the mountaintops, but we'll get a closer look. 8.44 is ultra dark beaver gray. 738 is very light tan. 814 is dark garnet. 437. This one is light tan. Oops. And 954 is Nile Green. And it's kind of a nice shade color. 890. This one is ultra dark pistachio green. 991 is dark aquamarine. 3771 is dark peach. 938 is ultra dark coffee brown. 780, this one is ultra very dark topaz. 
898 is very dark coffee brown. 993 is very light aquamarine. 3816 is celadon green. 3811 is very light turquoise. Really pretty. 3828 is hazelnut brown. So that's it for the kind of bigger packages. Then we go down to the smaller ones. And we have 894, which is very light carnation. 797 is royal blue. 3814 is aquamarine. 989 is forest green, but it, it looks more olivey. Mm, somewhere between olive and leaf green to me. It's very strange that they call in that forest green. Okay. 782 is dark topaz. 3326 is light rose. Sorry, right, couldn't find it. 165 is called bright green, but it looks like scrambled egg yellow. 433 is medium brown. 772 is very light yellow green. And it is a bit more yellowy in person than it looks in the camera. 336 is just blue, but it's definitely deep, deep blue. 939 is very dark navy blue. 704 is bright chartreuse. 783 is medium topaz. Got a straggler there. 321 is red. Uh, 823 is dark navy blue. 728 is uh, golden yellow. Yep. And here we have our other AB. 133. It's kind of a coral colored AB. Really pretty. I think there's going to be in the decoration around her. Um, in her hair and on her clothing and then also on her lips but we'll have a look 904 they're calling very dark pear green we'll get it in the shot 895 is very dark hunter green and last but not least we have 606 which is known as bright orange red so that's all the colors um mostly kind of Soft earth tones, which I kind of like a nice calming pick. I mean, everyone loves bright colors, but not every painting can be bright colors. So I like um, the soft color palette sometimes. Come back out a little bit and we'll look at where the ABs are. And the red or coral ABs are number one, and the white ABs are number two. So, like I mentioned, it's here in her hair decoration, it's here in her lips. It's here in her no, bolo brooch. And that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of other places you would put that, that color. Then we have number one. I'm sorry, number one was the red one. Number two, so that's in her eyes, which is pretty standard. Um, here, I might change out some of them here, put one or two there. I'm kind of surprised that's not in the, the reflection in the room. People. And you have it coming down in the snowflakes. Um, it's not any on the trees behind them, but on top of the mountains you're getting a couple there to highlight the mountains. In the patches of snow here. So you remember it's the first snow, so it hasn't quite covered the ground yet. And then, you know, falling in front of the wolf's face, these little snowflakes. So cute. But, um, just so, oh, there's some highlighting her clothing as well. So I'm gonna bring that up. So you get a lot of it here. It's a big patch of it, patches of it running through her clothing, which is um, a lot of fun. Who doesn't love ABs? So that's First Snow, um, a new release from Diamond Art Club. It's by Hannah Lynn. I think at the moment that I made this video, it sold out. But as a new release, this will come back. So if you like this painting, just keep your eye on Diamond Art Club and um, they will, well, they'll, they'll uh, renew it later. But you, you do have to be patient, like you said. You know, a new release comes out and people miss it because it's so popular, it gets sold out. And they want it to be stocked right away. And I'm like, well, it takes time because they're stocking all that other stuff we've been wanting. 
but it will come back. Um, certainly as a new release, I really doubt that this would not ever be restocked again. Uh, but let me know what you think. Do you love it? Do you need more colors in your diamond paintings? This is poster size again, like kind of like the Fixer Uppers was. Um, and I will also say, um, go, I really highly recommend, once people are traveling again, to go to the Museum of the American Indian um, in DC. And it's actually built directly across from the Capitol building so they can like look at the Capitol building um, to remind them of all those broken treaties. But there's just really interesting um, cultural artifacts in there. They have a lot of artwork and like bowls and beaded clothing and um, just various artifacts that different um, tribes have made. And this was all, I mean, the museum was founded and um, put together with input from various tribes from North America. I don't know how much they involve South America. I think it's mostly North American um, tribes that participated in this. But it's one of my favorite museums up in Washington, D.C. I went a few times when I lived there, and I, I just really highly recommend it. Um, I learned a lot about uh, Hawaii, how we acquired Hawaii, which was not very nice. And just a lot about uh, different, different native cultures, uh, some of the cultures up in Canada we don't really learn a lot about. And it's a very different lifestyle living in this kind of cold climate. Um, you know, I think being in Georgia, we learn much more about the Creeks and the Cherokees, and we kind of have a good idea of what that's like. And there's a, a replica, 1800s, I think, Cherokee town up in North Carolina that you can visit. Um, but it's just really nice to have all these different tribal cultures in one place where you can can kind of see it all if that interests you. Um, but. That's my uh, PSA for today. Go see that museum when it's safe to travel again. I really recommend it. And they do have performances um, by artists, musicians, and dancers and whatnot um, at the museum on a regular basis. So check out their schedule so while you're there you can definitely catch a performance. And there's a cafe downstairs that serves um, native-inspired cuisine from the different regions of the U.S. So uh, again, I recommend it. <laughs> if you've been there, let me know what you thought. Um, if you want to go there, if you think that's not for you, because I had a roommate who said, who asked for my recommendation of where to go in DC because she had friends visiting and I recommended it and she turned up her nose and I was like, okay, well, we're not going to be good friends. <laughs> I see you don't want to do culture. Well, just go to a boring movie like everyone else. So whatever. But I, uh, I really enjoyed it. So let me know if you've experienced it at all and, uh, if you ate in the cafe. Um, but that's it for today. Uh, three paintings is a lot, and, and this is probably already too long, so I will quit rambling. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will join me for future videos, and I'll see you soon. Keep on sparkling! <laughs>